Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to the video. Today, we are talking about goal setting for 2023. My name is Amy Prokopis, and I am a young adult author of novels like the young adult science fiction novel, The Arena, and the young adult fantasy romance, Guardians of the Sixth Gate. Welcome to my channel. Something that I should mention, just because I love them, <laughs> is that I use SMART goals. So if you don't know what SMART goals are, I'm going to put them up on the, on the screen so you can see and read through them. So for every goal I mention in this video, I will also be setting a SMART goal for. That way I can better track my progress and I have those little steps to achieve the big goal. So I'm not going to include what those SMART goals look like for every single goal because I think that would be too long of a video, but know that that is the next step and it's a great formula to help you achieve all of your goals. Now that I have established that and I've told you what this all is about, let's get into it with my goals. Just in case you were wondering, I am a happy planner lover. That's what I always use. I use like Google Calendar, of course, but also handwriting my week and at all the events and my goals really helps to like solidify it in my brain. So I have written down my goals for this year in the very front of this planner for 2023. And we are going to chat about them now and I will make sure to put them on the screen so you guys can follow along. In 2023, I want to publish three books. Those three books are um, Shade of the Shadowlands, which is the second in the Guardians of the Six Gate series. Um, the third book of that series also, I have not announced the title for it. And then there's Winter Witches, which is my fake dating winter romance that I've been writing through December. So those are the three books that I want to publish in 2023. I think I can do three. Um, I've been drafting them out and writing them super easily. And I've already edited Shade of the Shadowlands. I just did that in December and I came away with just a couple of things I wanted to change. So I'm feeling really good. I'm feeling better about my process of going about writing and publishing. I'm getting quicker at it. So I think I can do three in 2023. Next on the list is writing. I obviously have to write the books I'm publishing. I want to write two books in like draft one of two books in 2023. I have not fully written the third book for Guardians of the Sixth Gate. I need to write that one. Also in December of next year, I want to write the second book for the Winter Witches um, trilogy. I think there's going to be three. They follow the three Sinclair sisters. So if you've been reading that book over on my Patreon where it is available in its entirety right now, then you already know that the main character Madison Sinclair is the eldest of three girls. So this next book that I'll write in December will be about Margot, which is the middle sister. So I'm going to write those two books so that I can be on my publishing timeline going into also 2024. Something I've been meaning to do for a long time and didn't want to actually start until I was in the new year is starting an LLC. I probably should have done that um, when I first started publishing, it was advice that I got from another author as well. So um, <laughs> I'm here to tell you now, maybe you should go ahead and do that. It's easier to keep your finances separate. It's also easier to file some file tax information. So I'm going to start an LLC. That's actually the very first thing on my checklist. So I think that I will start that process um, in the next couple of weeks even. I also want to double my income from writing. So obviously I'm still a school counselor. I have my day job, so I have that full-time income and writing is something that I'm doing on, on the sides, not even the right word for it. It's what I would love to do full-time and it's what I'm working towards, but it is not my full-time income. So um, I want to double 
what I made in 2022. I think that that's very possible because I'm going to be publishing more books. I'm going to have three out this year. I also will still be earning income off of the previous ones. Um, and I have some neat projects in the works that I'm hoping will boost my sales as well. So I think that it is doable to double my income. I'm not going to release like official numbers from that. So you'll have to see in the future if I'm able to accomplish that one or not. But I say, let's go ahead and put it down. Double our income. That's what we're going to do. I want in 2023, 500 subscribers on this YouTube channel. That feels like a really lofty goal. Future Amy may be screaming right now at me. Um, we'll find out. Uh, 500 subscribers sounds like a lot. It is a whole lot. I don't know that I can gain that many. I would love to because I'm having a whole lot of fun on this channel, not just showing the writing process and everything work-wise with you guys, but connecting with you. I'm also having a lot of fun with some of the, the fun videos that I put together and put out on Wednesdays. So I am going to work towards a goal of hitting 500 YouTube subscribers, but I feel a little like that it might be too big of a goal. I am also going to work towards 2,000 followers on TikTok. That one I think is more achievable. I hit 1,000 followers on TikTok in like over the course of just a handful of months after I started publishing. So by the end of the summer, I was at 1,000 and over and I am seeing a lot of growth right now as well. So I think I can hit 2,000 in this, this coming year. So we're gonna keep our goal at 2,000 TikTok, subs not subscribers, TikTok followers for 2023. I would like to have 600 followers on Instagram. I feel like I set this one kind of low compared to my other social media accounts, but I did that because my Instagram grows really, really slow. So um, yeah, not, not super big. Uh, but I would like 600 followers on Instagram. I think that would be a great start. More people to share my books with, get them out there and to connect with. So if you're not already following me on all of those social media accounts, go and do that now because I post fun stuff there all the time. This next one is a goal that I have set for at least three years and I've never quite hit it, but I set it every year anyway. Um, if you do the Goodreads reading challenge, you already know this is the <laughs> Goodreads reading challenge. So essentially it's on Goodreads, you can track what books you read in a calendar year and you can set a goal for yourself there. I always set the goal at 50 books and I've been super close. I'm always in the forties, but I'm never at 50. So I am once again challenging myself to read 50 books in 2023. And I have a huge TBR shelf going, so I have plenty of books to start out on that journey. My last goal is a running goal, so more of a personal thing for me. I have run three half marathons. A half marathon is 13.1 miles. I love running, and I've never run a full marathon to know, but I think the half marathon might be my favorite distance to race. So I would like to run another half marathon. I want to run my fourth one in 2023. Um, and I think that's doable. There's one hosted in my hometown in September. And what I really like about that race is that all of the proceeds go to the public schools that are in that area. So love that race. I'm all about I'm all about supporting public schools um, and teachers. I think that's super important. They don't get nearly enough. Um, that is for sure. So I will probably run that one in September. So hopefully I can get all of my training together and get back on my game and run my fourth one this year. 
those are my 2023 goals. <sighs> I'm super excited to start tackling them. I am right away, of course, going into 2023. I just finished editing my first round of editing for Shade of the Shadowlands. That will be out in the spring. So I'm moving into the publication process for that and the outlining process for the third book, which I have not released a title yet for. And of course, I've been writing on Winter Witches all of December. So all I have to do to publish that one is to edit that in the fall so that I can have it released late fall for the winter season. So I feel like I'm in a really good place. I think most of those goals are easily achievable. There's a couple like the YouTube goal. Man, 500 YouTube subscribers is a lot. So there's only a couple that I'm a little bit nervous about actually achieving. But otherwise, I feel really energized to get started and um, try it. And yeah, it should be good. So those were my 2023 goals. Um, thanks for coming along. As always, you can connect with me on social media or in the comment section down below. All of my social media accounts are listed in the description box. You can find me there. Go check out my books. They're on, they're everywhere. The eBooks exclusive, exclusive to Amazon. I'm talking way too fast. And make sure that you subscribe to this YouTube channel because I post bookish content every single week, usually twice a week. So that's all. Thank you guys for watching to the end of the video. Thank you for all of the very nice comments that I get from you guys online. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.